Hey guys, Eric here, Mr. Fired Up Wealth, and I am excited to bring you a brand new video today on an IPO that's coming out here in the next couple of months called Snowflake. I have not been this excited about an IPO since maybe Fastly in 2019. I've done my homework on this one. I want to share it with you. You're going to want to see it. Stay tuned. Okay, so first, what is Snowflake? What do they even do? You've probably never heard of it. Maybe you have, maybe you haven't. I'm gonna give you some information about the company and then afterwards, we're gonna look at the IPO. We're gonna look at the valuation and some really impressive stats that you'll want to see. So do stay tuned for that. I'm gonna play this video from Snowflake that's on their website and I'm gonna talk about the company at the same time. So feel free to watch your screen, but also listen to what I'm saying. Our appetite for data as a culture, society, business, it's larger than ever. The problem is connecting the data across an organization, especially large organizations, is extremely challenging. Large companies often spend more time managing data in their infrastructure versus analyzing and using the data. And as I said before, digital transformation is more important now than ever, and companies like Snowflake are enabling organizations to make that happen. Snowflake is a modern data architecture with a leading cloud platform that simplifies data warehousing. You can run large workloads with scalability. It's very elastic. Snowflake's architecture was built from the ground up for the cloud, which makes it very unique. Their cloud data platform supports a multi-cloud strategy, including a cross-cloud approach to mix and match clouds for best of breed solutions. Snowflake is available globally on Amazon Web Services, on Azure, on Google Cloud Platform, and with a common interchangeable code base, Snowflake delivers advantages such as global data replication. And what that means is you can move your data to any cloud in any region without having to recode your application or learn new skills. And there's really four parts to Snowflake. First is centralized storage, which allows almost unlimited structured and unstructured data. There's the multi-cluster compute, which allows multiple concurrent workloads. The cloud services, which helps automated administrative tasks and security. And then the cloud agnostic layer, which allows a consistent user experience. One of the biggest advantages I spent, I don't know, probably three hours researching Snowflake. I read white papers, documents, everything I could find about Snowflake. And you can watch on your screen. Here's some, some of the things that you can use Snowflake for. So data engineering, data lakes, warehousing, data science, applications. One of the biggest advantages that I found in my research is the ability to allow as many employees as you want to have access to the data. You could realistically, if you wanted to, you could give access to the data to any employee in the company, to every employee in the company. Now, if you are familiar with old school on-prem data warehouses, you typically have a handful of analysts that do all the data and have access to the data. In fact, there really isn't much choice because these warehouses, these old school on-prem type warehouses usually have a max capacity of concurrent users. And so it varies depending on the size of the data warehouse, how much money is spent on it, et cetera. But I've seen large businesses where they could only have maybe 10 or 15 users at a time without serious performance issues. Snowflake removes that limitation in a big way. It's the game changer for that. The other major advantage that I saw when I was, was researching is that you only pay for Snowflake when you use it. So for huge companies, that's, you know, it's huge for all companies. It's huge for big and small companies, but especially smaller companies because it allows a user, I saw a demo where you could spin up an environment and control the size and even the time of the environment you're spinning up. And you only pay for the usage when you're running the queries and for the time the instances actually stood up. So you can set it for as short as one hour, one hour and pay $1. And you think, well, that's, how am I gonna make money off of this? Especially when you see the valuation in a couple minutes. But trust me, larger companies consume a lot and these dollars do add up and the larger data sets are obviously more expensive. But this shows me that literally any size company can use Snowflake and businesses can scale up as they grow. This is very, very powerful. Okay, next, really quick, I wanna show you the partners because this is gonna be key for their success. They've got some big partners out there. One was Tableau, which is, was actually acquired by Salesforce CRM. But look at all these technology partners. I think this is gonna be big for their success. The companies that are doing well is when they can leverage these big sales forces like Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud, Salesforce that I just mentioned, Tableau, which is part of Salesforce, Looker. I mean, look at all these guys. There's a ton of them on here. And 
they partner with these, so they can, they actually compete with some of these guys on certain levels, but they also partner with them. And you can go to Amazon Web Services and you can actually, there's an entire white paper of Amazon Web Services selling the benefits of why you would want to use Snowflake with AWS. So you can take Snowflake and make it integrated into Azure, AWS, or Google Cloud to pull the data that you're already storing on the, on the public cloud with these big guys and actually use that data with Snowflake to make analytics, to do different things with the data. So it's very, very powerful having these partners. Next, really fast, I wanna show you some of their customers because they have over 2,000 enterprise customers already using Snowflake, which is, I was surprised by that number to be honest with you, but you can see big names on here like Square, Blackboard, Instacart, Logitech, DoorDash, 2K, which is Take-Two Entertainment, Lionsgate, Adobe, uh, I mean, on and on and on. So you can go to their website and check out more, but they've already got 2,000 customers using it. The thing about data, every day, every year that goes on, these businesses have more and more data and they need to be able to mine that data effectively and Snowflake allows these businesses to do that. So what I'm getting at is it's very scalable. As data is more important to businesses and as we consume more and more data and more and more data is entered into these databases and into the cloud, it's going to grow the usage and the revenue for a company like Snowflake. Okay, let's get into the really good stuff. So this is on prnewswire.com. Snowflake more than triples revenue and customer base and doubles post money valuation all in just one year. That's pretty amazing. This goes into some of the things we've already covered like Snowflake's unique cloud build architecture enables organizations of any size to make data-driven decisions not previously possible. With Snowflake, customers get deeper insights for more data thanks to the power, simplicity, and scalability of modern data warehousing. Now, you'll see this called data, uh, database as a service. So you've heard of software as a service, that's SaaS. You've heard of you know, platform as a service, that's PAS. This is going to be D and then little a, little a, and then a big S. <laughs> database as a service. You'll also see warehousing, data warehousing as a service you'll see in a couple of their white papers. So they raised $450 million in growth funding, doubling total funding, more than $920 million, doubled Pulse valuation to $3.9 billion. Stay tuned because I'm going to show you a much bigger number than this. Uh, they were actually a leader in the Gartner's Magic Quadrant. If you've watched any of my videos, I talk about the Magic Quadrants quite a bit. So they were positioned as a leader. More than triple their revenue right here, guys. Look at this. More than tripled revenue year over year a 257% increase. This, if they could keep even close to this pace, it would blow the doors off of anything else. If you remember Datadog this last quarter, they had like 87, a little under 90% uh, year over year revenue increases. Imagine if you saw something like a 200%, I mean, Zoom was, was crazy numbers like that as well. Um, nearly tripled their employee count. And I did some research looking at LinkedIn they had a ton of jobs. They increased their headcount by about 22% over the past several months. And they've kind of toned that down with COVID-19. But I think they've, they've actually hired quite a few people. It looked like they hired more engineers. They hired more uh, salespeople. So they're really ramping up for this IPO. And in a second, I'm going to get to more information in the IPO. But LinkedIn's 50 most sought after companies, Fortune's 50 best places to work in technology, uh, I mean, just awesome. So they've got over a thousand employees worldwide. There's some really cool data on here. Uh, also a leader in the Forrester wave, if you're familiar with Forrester Research for cloud data warehousing in the Q4 218 report. I read a Forrester re uh, report summary on these guys and it was really, really impressive. Some of the, the savings and the ROI that they can, they can deliver to a CIO, to a business. They've got a really good story. This is a good one here. This is what got my attention and made me realize I need to make this video and, and do more research. So this is from the street. It says, why Snowflake's upcoming IPO is one to watch. This is probably the most important part of the video because it's gonna give you some really good information. Cloud data platform Snowflake could go public at a time when demand for cloud services is greater than ever. This was just published on June 10th, 2020. A spate of new technology stocks may be hitting the market later this year, you know, of some of the other IPOs. Silicon Valley-based Snowflake filed confidentially this week, earlier this week, for an IPO, according to Bloomberg. 
and intends to list its shares in the coming months, okay? So in the summer, in the next month or two, we're gonna get this IPO, we're gonna be able to buy shares in this stock. So it's one for us to watch. The cloud specialist could be one of the larger tech offerings to go public this year. I'll be honest with you, I'm as, as excited for Snowflake as I was for Fastly in 2019. I can't guarantee you the same results necessarily, but this is definitely one that's on my radar that I'm gonna keep an eye on, I'm gonna keep researching. I'm more than, more than likely will buy this as soon as it's available and then watch the price because IPOs can be all over the place. There is no doubt for investors that tech is huge and getting bigger. Davidson uh, says Duncan Davidson, managing partner of investment firm for Bullpen Capital. You're seeing an increased hunger for new properties. Absolutely true. Snowflake is part of an emerging niche of cloud firms that address multi-cloud environments. I keep driving this multi-cloud environment thing home. There's a lot of different players that can, that can play nice in the sandbox together to make an enterprise solution. So you see their partners we showed earlier on Am with Amazon, with Microsoft, with Azure. They're partners with Salesforce. They've got a lot of great things going for them. They sell data warehousing and analytic services that permit cross-cloud integration, which we kind of covered earlier. And it's really caught fire over the last year, as you saw with the outstanding growth numbers. Now, this is really cool. You're familiar with Odka from the channel. We did a video on Odka versus Ping Identity. Now, they do a report which publishes annually, and they do the growth of enterprise apps. And it cited Snowflake as the fastest growing app last year in 2019 with 273% growth among Otka customers and their network of app integrations. It also counts, it says Snowflake also counts several cloud heavyweights, AWS, Azure, Salesforce, et cetera, which you mentioned earlier, among a, a base of customers and partners that we also discussed earlier. Some of Snowflake's products overlap with major cloud infrastructure providers. And CEO Frank Slootman told CNBC that Snowflake has poached thousands of customers from AWS's data warehousing service. So even though they partner together, they're actually poaching customers from AWS. The reason for it is you can actually take your data and store it in the cloud with Snowflake and not actually need AWS. Plus they have additional capabilities like we showed earlier with data mining, with analytics and things, things that Amazon Web Services can't do. So that is something to keep an eye on because obviously Amazon has the scale and the means if they want to go after something like Snowflake and make their own solution, they easily can do that. So that is one of the risks to consider. Snowflake is seeking a $20 billion valuation for its upcoming IPO, according to the reports, which will represent a premium over its last private valuation of $12.4 billion in February of 2020. This just happened a couple months ago. He also said that earlier the year, the company generated well over $100 million in 2019. So a pretty rich valuation, I believe, but a lot of opportunity, a very, very interesting IPO to keep an eye on. Uh, as for the precise timing of the IPO, the company declined to comment on its plans, but investors and analysts speculate that the third quarter will bring a cluster of new offerings. So I've, I've seen this summer and now third quarter, sometime between now and the end of this year, but definitely keep an eye out and I'll keep you posted as I find out more information. If you're part of the Facebook group, I'll make sure to keep you posted as, as anything comes out and I'll do my best to make a new video if there's something relevant. In the case of Snowflake, it'd be going public at a time where cloud services are more relevant than ever, given how COVID-19 has impacted demand for new technology. You've seen Fastly and Datadog and Zscaler and all these companies, Zoom Video just explode because of uh, the pandemic. Guys, thanks, thanks for watching. Thanks for your time and attention. This is a really exciting company. It's one that I'm going to keep on the radar. There's obviously some, some risks here with this one, but I'll be honest with you, I'm surprised that this didn't get acquired. Salesforce actually looked at acquiring them. I think it was just simply too expensive and they didn't want to. Maybe there's more to the story. I don't, I don't know the answer there. It's the most exciting IPO I can think of in a long time, other than, like I mentioned earlier, Fastly, and definitely keep it on your radar. Now, if you haven't subscribed, please do bottom right hand corner down over here somewhere. Uh, click that little subscribe button. There's a little bell. Click that so you get notifications. As soon as I release a new video, you're going to get notified through email and you can come check it out. 
Also, if you, if you haven't checked out our Facebook group, you can go on Facebook, type in Fired Up Wealth. There's going to be a public page. There's also a private group. And you can go ahead and apply for that private group. We'd love to have you there. Over 2,000 members strong now. No spam, no scam, just real investors in there collaborating, trying to, trying to get ahead and make a dollar and crack the code. So appreciate your time and attention. Have a great rest of your day. Take care.